Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And to, this is the end of the month. I'm going to do completed color book pages for you. And this is for July 2022. I have uh, worked in about eight books and done about 13, 14 pictures. So let's get to it and take a look at them. But before I do, I want to make a comment. I have received comments from a lot of viewers and um, asking me why I only do this number of pictures compared to other channels that do 40, 50, 60 and up. Well, it's because we do two different kinds of coloring. Um, they do a lot of markers and even if they use pencils, they aren't doing backgrounds. They're not uh, detailing as much as I do and it's a total different way of coloring everyone has their own style it's not right it's not wrong and uh, a lot of them will take like an image like this only and then count that as a color book page so I don't do that I do a lot of details I do uh, double page spreads I use pencils and this uh, books take a lot of time so I hope that answers it, and um, let's get to it. Now, Millie Murata's books, if you know anything about them, are highly detailed, and I do all the detail. I don't just cover over uh, these little doodles at all. So let's take a look. And um, I worked in this book, um, I'm sorry, Wildlife Wonders by Millie Murata, and I did this picture this month. And you can see the sparkle pop um, gold is shiny. What happened here is that uh, from this side of the page, uh, when I put fixative on, it somehow it bled through to this side of the page. And this was all pink, dark pink. And I had it all over. So I was able to save this picture by using my Color Premium Colored Pencils. You can see a little bit of the red coming through or the pink coming through here on the green, but it still looks like I detailed it. And I did use a darker background so I could cover it up. But I saved my coloring book. I saved this page and I was real excited about it. I used the Color Premium Colored Pencils and the uh, Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint for his eye. I was going to put on the... Um, glossy accents but um, being this had bled through I didn't want to wreck my seahorses on the other side and I didn't know if it would uh, you know go into the paper because it is wet and you have to let it dry overnight so anyway I was excited and I had a lot of fun doing this it did take me a long time because I had to do uh, several layers of pencil in order to get it covered up but it came out great and I didn't wreck my book. Okay, let's move on. The other book that I worked in by Millie Murata was uh, Secrets of the Sea. And I took the... This is my second shot on this video, folks. I recorded a whole video without the sound. And I didn't want to do a voiceover. So here I am again. Okay, I did the same stencil, a uh, water look background. Um, I just made it blue. I didn't use different shades of um, chalk pastel or in soft pastel. But I think, you know, when you're in a swimming pool and you're looking through the water and you're under the water and the sun's shining, I think it has that kind of look. So I use this stencil for a water a water. A look of water, that's what I'm trying to say. And what I did here is uh, the background's the same, and this um, seaweed is continued over here. So I made it the same color to connect them. And as you can see, I did all the detail, every little tiny square in there. Let me pull in closer. I thought I was close enough. Well, maybe for the large books, it's okay. These are large books, so... Um, I don't want to, yeah, that, I'm going to back up just a little. I don't want to cut anything off. Okay, but you can see there's a lot of detail 
in the if you have this book you'll know what I mean okay let's get going to the next book and that was Anamorphia however most everyone was coloring out of color morphia and the reason being is because uh, this picture here was requested by Liz at Liz at Home and uh, I have it in Anamorphia, the whole double page spread and um, in Color Morphia it's only this side so uh, whatever one you did you'll have either half of the picture or all of it and uh, I tried to do the beaks as close in their eyes and everything as close as possible to the real bird. I used chalk pastels or soft pastels, mungyo, in the background. I just wanted it light. There's so much going on on this page. It's so busy. I didn't want to um, make it, uh, you know, distract from it, I guess what I'm trying to say, by um, having a dark background. And the birds are already dark. Um, in they are solid black, but I didn't want to do that and then come in with uh, highlighting like I did here with Posca on both the tips of the feathers. I didn't want to do that. So due to the inspiration of Arlene, one of my subscribers and friends, I was able to uh, put in blue and green. Uh, so when I saw her doing it, I... I stole her ins the inspiration from her. So, and this was a buddy color also. So it was for two things. One, Liz at home wanted to see this one colored. And um, then I did a buddy color with, with uh, Arlene. So that was a lot of fun this month. And I love doing Kirby. I really like Kirby and I love double page spreads in any book. Then I worked in Romantic Country, um, and this is book one. And the reason I, oops, I took the sticker out. Let's see where it's at. Here we go. Uh, Lovella has uh, Color Your Horde. Uh, um, it was July Color Your Horde 2022. And so I participated in that at, um, from Lovella's Coloring. And I had never colored in this book. So we did. I did the girl on the swing. Is this book one or two? This is book one. And this was also a buddy color with Arlene. And um, it came out really great. So to see her uh, pictures on the buddy colors, you uh, I'll list that below on Instagram where you can go. I believe it's called... Um, well, I'll list it below instead of trying to think of it right now, where you can go. And then um, on Instagram, I have a place where if you have colored along, you can post your pictures there also. So please, ch I'll, I'll have the information below so you can check that out. Okay. And this was part of Color Your Horde also. Um this, uh, and this was the buddy color, too, with uh, Arlene. So uh, that's how mine came out. So I'll just list that below where you can look at the buddy colors and where you can post yours will be a different hashtag. And then I did a George Tufexis picture. I have to start doing uh, color by numbers every month. And I only got one done this month, but I want to do more. Okay, now this is a good example for you to see. These books are printed at a printer. As far as I know, this could have been colored by an electronic uh, coloring software. I don't know. But if you're going to try to match your pencils to this exactly, you're going to have a problem. It's not going to be exact. The same with the color key in here. So what you want to do is just... Get your pencils, whatever set you're using, as close as possible and go for it because they all come out looking beautiful. So here we go. Mine came out looking like this. I'm going to move that. Mine came out looking like this. 
and I used um, Fila pencils on here. Very happy with the way it came out. And for my pencils, these colors were the best that I could choose. And I, I just think that it was a lot, a lot of fun. So here we go. I would like to do a whole month of uh, some of these books or artists, but I don't know how that's going to work out. We'll see. Wish You Were Here by Teresa Goodrich. And um, I did, I believe, uh, a color along on this one here. It's The Lighthouse. And um, I did not take the Posca pen and white out all the water splashes like I see most people doing. I, that bothered me, and I tried it, and it made me feel like there was just a glob of paint there. So I went with some blue pencil, uh, the same blue of the ocean. I left some of the black lines, and I whited out the middle part of the waves splashing. So that's my technique for doing that. And I, I like the way that it came out. And I used a Sparkle Pop gold on the edge here. And then I worked on this color. Uh, well, I used watercolor here, I should say. Uh, Color watercolor. And then we went with uh, the Color premium colored pencils to do the detailing. On this, um, I did th the whole thing with Color colored pencils except the white on the water, and that was with some acrylic paint, just to make it look like splashes. Okay. And this is the one I get, I'm getting ready to color. I already printed it off onto some cardstock. I got a new printer because my laser printer died. So let's, uh, let me give an adjustment here, and then we'll come back to the next book, and that was Nature Mandalas, and I did four in here. I did this one, and this is with uh, Color Watercolor Pencils. Whoops, I've got something popping up on my screen. Okay, now I can see. And um, the dragonflies have extreme, um, Folk Art Extreme Glitter acrylic paint on them. There's fine glitter, which I really love. And uh, I use the Chlor Premium pencils for detailing. So that's how that one came out. I'm sorry, I had, like I said, I had these all marked and I took the mark off. Here we go. Then I did this wolf. There's no glitter on it. I just wanted to see the animal. And this a drawing is uh, really neat because she put claws here like from the animal and then um, you see the wolf. I just thought I liked this mandala the way it was drawn and um, I put yellow in the back. I hope you like the way that looks. And then this one, um, I have a lot of sparkle pop gold pen here around the uh, on these uh, this design and in the middle here I have extreme glitter paint by folk art and I made this look like a sun and uh, I did um, color watercolor pencil uh, not watercolor color premium pencils and then the last one was this flower. This flower appears in the center of another mandala in here. And these are the colors I'm going to use in it. So I wanted to try it out. I wanted to make it look like a ribbon. And um, I hope I've achieved that. So, and that was with pencil also. And then last but not least is my Johanna Basford Worlds of Wonder. And this is my whip. I'm not finished with this yet. I plan on finishing the whole book. I have to work my way through it little by little. And what I was doing is with Staedtler Ergosoft pencils, I was coloring the inside cover here, as you can see how big it is. Um, 
I had first previously went uh, colored each image. There's, I believe, nine of them, or eight of them. I'm sorry, eight of them, eight or nine. And then uh, that established my color. So when I came back to it, I can now go ahead and color color the images. There's four of each image. So I did these houses, and there's four, uh, four in the back. And then I'm working on the uh, fish here. So I'm going to do each one as we go. Um, like I'll do all the fish in the front and in the back cover. Now in the back cover, I had to finish all of this scroll work around each little picture. So that took quite a while. And um, I'm getting there. I'm going to work on a little bit each month. The other thing in this book that I'm working on right now is this picture here, which I just love from Johanna. I'm going to back out. That's big, and this picture is pretty big. There we go. And um, I even made a note to myself that I'm using the Brut Funner uh, colored pencils, the square ones. And I have a purple color and a blue that I'm doing in the background here. And when I get the border done, then I will start working on uh, the flowers and everything in it. And then I'll work on the main part of the picture. So this is a work in progress. Okay. Well, there you have it for July 2022. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I hope you have a great day and until we meet again, happy coloring.